Welcome. And finally, the Xiaomi Mi A3, and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks that you can do on this device. So we're going to begin with something fairly simple, which is the airplane mode. Now, I don't mean it by the default way how it's used, so you enable it and it just disconnects from everything. But there is a secondary use for it, which would basically allow you to disconnect from a closest cell or well, any cell tower that you connected to. And when you disable the airplane mode, so we're enabling it and as you can see we lost Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and also any kind of SIM connection that was previously. And now if you disable it, it reconnects and when it reconnects it will connect to the closest cell tower. So if you had any problems with connection while you were calling someone and the calls were just dropping off or it wasn't really clear, uh, doing that might actually fix that problem. Uh, that's basically by connecting to the closest cell tower and fixing kind of reception problem that you might have had before. Okay, so that's the first one. Now moving on, we're gonna go into a, something also fairly simple, but not very, uh, I guess, uh, not, not shown too well. So basically you swipe on the home bar for recent apps. So as you will see, I have a well, couple open, like you can see, and you can basically start swiping between them uh, using this button. So you don't wanna press it, you just wanna swipe it. And unfortunately the swipe only works in one direction. So you swipe to the right, uh, to the left it doesn't seem to work maybe because there's a back button but as you can see I can try and it just doesn't work so only in one direction so that is basically another thing now moving on we're gonna go into reducing animations uh, which as you can see all of them when you open a, or open an app or go to recent close it it all is animated by this like zooming in and out animations of minimizing sliding down fading and all those animations can be either shortened, turned off for a more snappy experience of the phone. So to do it, you want to go into the uh, system or settings I meant. So let's go to settings and then enable the developer options. So it should be under the about phone. And here, uh, let's find the build number, which is right here. Tap on it seven times. You will get a, um, or when it's supposed to enable, um, you either will see you are now a developer or if you have a passcode like I do, I need to actually confirm it before it enables. So now I see the message, you are now a developer. And now if I go back, I should have another option. I'm just not sure exactly where it is, maybe in advanced. Yep, there it is. So as you can see in the system, you will find now a developer options once you press on the advanced, so to expand the list. So once you go in here, scroll down a little bit, I think it's past halfway. Um, it's called anim oh, there it is. Window Animation Scale, Transition Animation Scale, and Animation Duration Scale. And each one of those uh, corresponds to a different kind of animation. So the first one, Window Animation Scale, will be responsible for the window that appears basically when I tap on this option. So this is the Window Animation Scale. And as you can see, I will change it two times ten, so you will see a drastic difference between how fast it appears. You can see it kind of like slowly fading in and fading out. And now if I just check it to zero or off, basically, it will be instant. There is no animation behind it. It just fades in and out. Now, if you're seeing some kind of um, shadow uh, paid or something like that, it's corresponding to some other animation, not, not the window itself. Okay, so moving on, we're going to basically change everything to off, for instance, and you will see that now Anything that you go into recent, close something, it's instant. There is basically no animation, just appears and disappears. So as you can see, it just pops in. There is no animation of like zooming in. Now, you might not be too fond of that. So if you prefer to have some kind of animation, you can always set it to at least half speed, which will basically dramatically reduce the animations by basically half of what there were previously, but you will still have animation so it doesn't look maybe that bit of jarring to you when you're not used to it. So yeah, that is a fairly nice and handy trick. So moving on, we're gonna go into the uh, hiding password. And uh, normally what I mean is, for instance, when we go into the Wi-Fi settings, you just wait for some Wi-Fi that, that has a protection on it. Um, I'm choosing basically a Wi-Fi Okay, I know this one, so um, so I have a password to type in. That's basically the only reason I'm going for the Wi-Fi, but it applies to basically any other website, for instance, where you have to log in 
to Google basically anywhere where you have to type in password and it shows those dots like this it always will show you also the latest letter that you have pressed which is in my opinion a little bit annoying and not too secure if someone is peeking over your shoulder I mean they can basically see the entire password if they look for a long enough time so there is a way to actually remove it so as you've just seen it shows basically the latest letter uh, so let's go into the settings and then if I remember correctly it should be under the uh, security so security and location right here let's slide down let's go to advanced and there it is show password now by default it's uh, basically checked on so it's showing the password and uh, I feel like this should be by default disabled so let's just disable this and now if we go back to the password settings like we were previously and again try to connect to one that has a password and I start tapping away you can always see that already see that there is no visible letter whatsoever it's just instantly a dot which doesn't really tell you any kind of password apart from well I guess whatever whenever you're pressing the letter itself but if you're tapping away your password fairly quickly uh, that is way harder to keep up with than actually seeing it in the line here yeah so moving on we're gonna go to the last thing which is um, I guess two, two different things associated with recents so one is the uh, split screen and the other one is window pinning now both of them at least window pinning I'm um, not here let's go back to the settings right here and also into the security and location and we should find the options for it so let's see where it was um okay there is screen pinning and i believe by default it's disabled so all you need to do is just check it on like so and also gives you a message um basically what it will do it's so cool you know and uh, split screen is also enabled by default so you don't need to turn it on and now to basically access both of those options all we need to do is just go to recent so you can see all the recent apps and uh, let's just actually open up youtube so it's a better example of this feature not now and now for instance we can just go to recent tap on the icon right here and you will have two options which is split screen one and pinning s2 now what will pinning do is when you tap on it okay uh, what is it i uh, get a message how to unpin it so hold uh, back and uh, and home button so okay got it basically selected both of those keys right here um, and what it does is for instance if you want someone to see something on your phone um, and you don't really want to uh, you might have like some some things that you don't want them to see uh, what this will do is basically prevent them from being able to go back to any home screen and anywhere else unless they know by default how to disable this which to disable this oops sorry to disable it as you can see i'm pressing home button and it doesn't do anything so let's press the back and home button at the same time or at the same time there we go uh, you have to confirm it if you have a passcode so just press a fingerprint and now i can actually leave it so here it's actually even more secure if you have a passcode you cannot leave this uh, pinning without actually providing it so even if someone knows how to leave it they still need a fingerprint or the passcode that you have set and then the second one that i wanted to show along with this one is basically just the split screen and what it will allow you to do is for instance if you're watching youtube you can now do two things at the same time and as we all know youtube is a very cool uh, by closing it you also close whatever you were listening to or watching um, so you cannot really multitask with youtube but this will allow you to play any kind of video so let me just mute the sound um, i'm gonna tap on some kind of video i just skip the ad there we go and now i resize it a little bit more apparently not so basically half screen is the, the default and you cannot resize it but as you can see this continues while well, i can now continue to use settings which settings might not be the best uh, case best thing to showcase but as you can clearly see the video isn't closing the video isn't stopping it continuously plays now for this purpose i did mute the sound so there's no copyright for it but you can clearly see it's not 
basically stopping the song. And even if you go back, basically it closes the bottom up and the top one, which is always the first one that you open, um, is the primary one and whenever you quit it continues to stay open and as you can also see, just this slither there is still, it's still going and it's still playing in the background even though it's closed and you can continue using whatever else. So you can go open up Wi-Fi right here and uh, yeah. So as you can see, that's basically how you would enable the split screen as well. And if you found any of these tweaks and tricks helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.